Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In the part 1 of our fortification of LAC series, we have discussed about UAVs, drones, lottery munition and swan drones being inducted and operated by Indian Armed Forces. By next year, Tapas UAV will also be ready for induction. ADA along with HL is constructing 6 Tapas BH-201 which will be completed by next year. Initial plan is to produce 76 Tapas drones which will include 60 for Army, 12 for Air Force and 4 for Navy. Tapas is going to be better than the Israel Heron drones at present being operated by our armed forces. Tapas has been designed for Indian conditions by Indians. In a recent trial, Tapas has achieved flight altitude of 27,500 feet and endurance of 18 hours continuous. This is a remarkable achievement because no other drone, even Israel's Heron drone, has shown such endurance level at such an altitude, which was demonstrated by Tapas, and that too continuous. So if you check their brochure, yes, they claim huge endurance and altitude, but this information is beyond brochure. I felt it's important to discuss this because we must know the Tapas under development is going to be world-class male UAV. Yes, we are late, but there is a saying in Hindi, der I, durust I, which means that making come back late, but stronger. Once Tapas starts getting inducted into our armed forces, India won't need to spend billions of dollars in procuring the UAVs from foreign countries. And trust me, this will give sleepless night to PLA due to its exceptional endurance. It will be Rustam in true sense as called earlier. Now continuing our discussion on the surveillance capability, the next military hardware we are going to talk about is Ultra Long Range Observation System. Rajak. This system is developed by Tata Advanced Systems Limited and handed over to Army on 12th April 2022. Rajak is a sensor system which will provide long range, daytime and nighttime surveillance. It has been found to be very effective in countering infiltration and border surveillance. The system consists of long range day thermal imager, laser range finder, GPS, DMC, and SWIR camera mounted on a compact stabilized pan tilt and controlled through a compact console. It can detect a human target from a distance of 18 km and a vehicle from a distance of 26 km both during day and night. This will greatly boost our soldiers capability in monitoring the PLA troop movement across the LSE. Now the mountainous terrain of LSE poses a great challenge for radars. The scanning radar beam can be partially or completely blocked from various directions. This is a bigger problem for both Indian Army and Air Force. The Chinese aircrafts, UAVs and helicopters can skip from radar detection by maneuvering between two mountain peaks and can surprise the Indian military base though it is not that easy than said but a fair possibility to skip radar detection. The terrain provides easy entrance to enemy aircraft, helicopters and UAVs flying at low altitude. The Indian Air Force has already inducted Alisha radar. It is a multi-beam ground-based 3D surveillance radar for deployment in diverse terrains like plains, desert, mountain tops and high altitude region. Now this radar detects and tracks heterogeneous air targets including helicopters, fighters, UAVs at low and medium altitudes especially on mountainous terrain. The quadripod mounted radar is built to operate in networked or standalone mode to support joint or independent operation. It is an S-band radar with a detection range of 50 km for target of 2 m2 RCS. It can track up to 100 targets and weighs less than 200 kg. It can track and detect fighter aircraft, helicopters, slow moving light aircrafts and UAVs. It can simultaneously track while scanning for new target. Another big advantage of this radar is that it can be remotely operated which ensures safety of crew operating it and the radar can be placed in any tactical locations. It is light, compact and modular which makes it easy to transport by men light vehicles and underslung by helicopters. Back in November 2021, Indian Army has also shared requirement for the modern LLLWR. 
the army wanted a 3d active electronic scanned air radar that has a range of up to 50 km with tactical control of air defense weapons now surveillance without communication is incomplete the network communication at inhabitable cold desert of LSE is another challenge for Army. To overcome the same, Army is using Transportable Satellite Terminals TST. With the help of these TSTs, Indian Army is able to get secure and reliable voice, video and data connectivity for troops deployed in the forward areas. TST is based on high mobility vehicle which can traverse along all types of terrain. TST ensures seamless beyond line of sight tactical communication affording flexibility to own mechanized operations. It can be deployed and made effective in a very short time frame. Next we are talking about is Swati weapon locating radar. It is an electronically scanned phased array radar which automatically locates hostile artillery, mortars and rocket launchers. It also helps to track and guide the friendly fire to locate the impact point of fire and issue necessary corrections. Recently, BEL has received an order for procurement of six new units of Swati WLR Mark II version worth Rs 400 crores. The existing version of Swati WLR is mounted on an 8x8 Tatra truck which is mobile, however, Indian Army wanted a much lighter version of Swati WLR which can be mounted on a 6x6 wheeled platform which further improves the mobility of radar in mountainous terrains where roads are narrow and mobility is a big challenge. Indian Army already operates 30 units of Swati WLR Mark 1 version and has performed exceedingly well at LOC. The 6 new Swati Mark 2 WLR is expected to be deployed along the LSC. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.